Let's look at another additional use for I means. This particular reaction is called reductive animation. Let's notice the overall reaction first. You're starting with either an aldehyde or a ketone, and you're simply turning it into an amine. And notice our reagents here, NH3 in excess with acid, followed by a second reaction, H2PDC. This reaction actually combines two reactions we've already learned before. But let's understand each one. Let's look at the first reaction here, the NH3 in excess. All this is is simply imine formation. Again, quick product would say the C is double bonded to the N, and he retains his R group. But in this case, notice, the amine doesn't really have an R group, but we could think of NH3 as NH2, with the third hydrogen as being the R group, which means that's why we get this imine as a product. However, this particular imine is very unstable. So what we do is perform a second reaction here. That's where the H2PDC comes in. And we've learned this reaction in a previous online lecture. And one of the things H2PDC does is reduce double bonds to single bonds. And if you remember, it does it by adding a hydrogen to each atom within the double bond. So applying those rules means that this is the product that you would get. Notice both the nitrogen and the carbon received a hydrogen. This right here is the product of our reaction. And notice what you have is an amine. However, there is a variation to this reaction. Instead of using NH3 in excess, you can actually use this molecule right here. Notice we get the same exact product as we got before. Also, while we're looking at this, let's talk about our quick product method. In this reaction, all you're doing is taking the carbonyl group, the C double bond O, and turning it into a C directly bonded to an amine. But we actually have another alternative for this reaction. Instead of using the H2PDC in the second step, we can use this instead, NABH3CN. This is specifically called Borsch reduction. But we'd like to know that this alternative exists just in case it's on your exam. But let's look at another example here. Notice you don't have to just use primary amines. You can actually start out with a secondary amine in this reaction. And if followed by Borsch reduction here, the product of this reaction would be this molecule right here. Notice quick product method shows that the C double bonded to the O is now C directly bonded to the nitrogen, and that nitrogen retains his two R groups. So what are our key points here? All we have to know is number one here, reductive amination reduces an aldehyde or a ketone into an amine.